is anxiety normal? Well, it is and it isn't, but let's look at how you can help your anxiety with my furry friend advice. I used to suffer from anxiety. Yes, sometimes I know it's normal for me to feel anxious because I'm facing a big change to my normal routine or a challenge such as I may be doing something that is new to me, like taking on a new role at work. However, suffering from the condition of anxiety is not a normal state because it can be so detrimental in life on a daily basis as this example explains. However, I want you to know that even though the condition is not normal, many people suffer from anxiety and there are ways to manage and overcome this debilitating condition. You are not alone. My anxiety was striking many different ways. One way that was quite famous was actually in social situations, even with my family. For example, if I was told by my wife that we had to go out for a meal, the cogs in my head would start turning. I think of the, what am I going to wear, who's going to be there, what happens if they don't like me, what happens if they think I'm ordering too much food and they want to share the bill. All these questions and worries popping into your head before you even get there. Then when you actually get there, it can get even worse. Why is that person looking at me funny? Is he going to attack me? This would cause me to not enjoy the meal at all. When I think about it now, I think how horrible it's been in the past and how many times it's ruined my experiences. So is anxiety your normal everyday experience in situations where anxiety really should not be your normal experience? Then learn how to defeat the symptoms of anxiety with a furry friend. I know it sounds a bit wild, but let me explain. As I've said, some anxiety is normal. We all get anxious feelings about events that we don't do frequently in our everyday life, such as taking an exam at a college or visiting a foreign country, or maybe even moving to a new house. This kind of anxiety is normal. The type of anxiety that's not normal is when everyday tasks create mental anguish or horrible physical symptoms such as a pounding heart or shortness of breath or excess sweating. Do you suffer from anxiety and do you find the symptoms challenging? Are they interrupting or even spoiling your life? Then please listen to the advice that was given to me to help curb the symptoms of my anxiety. Research has proven that contact with animals can reduce a host of mental health issues such as anxiety, stress and depression. And please see the link in the description below to that research. The time spent with animals, petting them, talking to them, or simply taking care of their needs helps reduce the release of the hormones that are causing your nasty, anxious symptoms in your body. Not only that, the effects can actually carry over to the next day, keeping you calmer and less prone to feelings of anxiety. Okay, so we can't all work in a zoo or a safari park, but there are so many ways to spend time with animals. When we're suffering from anxiety and stress, we can overlook the environment we're living in simply because our minds are so distracted with anxious thoughts. When was the last time you walked the dog or stroked the cat? Walking and petting your own pets can sometimes feel like another line on your never-ending to-do list. So try and see your pet as a solution rather than a chore. If you don't have a pet, then have you ever considered the smaller variety like a hamster or a guinea pig? These creatures may surprise you in as much as they have such individual personalities and that's something you'll discover when you spend time petting them. This time is not a waste of your time. This is pet therapy and it will help you. Alternatively, if you have heavy work commitments, have you considered volunteering at the local dog, cat, rabbit, horse or even reptile rescue center? The payback for you and your anxiety will far outweigh the time you give the animals for free. Research has proven that the animals do not even have to be furry. They can actually be reptiles or even crickets. I found relaxing with my dog in the evening, just gently stroking his back and talking to him. Telling him what a day I may have experienced really set me up for a good night's sleep. And over time helped calm my anxiety. So please, if you have the availability of a pet, even a neighbor's pet will do, then try it for yourself. Animals clearly are best friends when it comes to anxiety and stress. But keep in mind, an animal is for life, not just a temporary distraction. Clearly, this is a lovely method to help your anxiety when available. However, you can't carry your Great Dane with you everywhere you go, and your pet duck may not be welcome in the office. You need to get to the root cause of your ongoing anxiety. So I have good news for you. Other, better, more permanent solutions do exist. If you're struggling with anxiety and the horrible symptoms it leaves you with, then make a start on addressing the root cause. To start, download our 10 best tips on managing your anxiety ebook 100% for free. You can just type 10 tips.mindcarecoach.com into your browser right now and hit go. Listen, you don't have to keep struggling with your anxiety forever. 
go to 10tips.mindcarecoach.com right now or click the link in the description below to learn some amazing techniques and tips to start your road to recovery. I hope you enjoyed learning about how contact with animals can relieve anxiety and stress. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button as we're pumping out more content daily. Also, feel free to leave a comment below about what you thought about the idea of spending more time with animals to help reduce your anxiety.